Why hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I know it's like you saw the whole uh, streak of videos about how I uploaded them practically if you look at the upload date all in one day or two days and whatnot. And you may be wondering why. It's because I went on vacation this past week on uh, the uh, looking at the calendar. It was the week of the 23rd that I went on vacation. Felt like making a video uh, just talking about what I did and everything because I went off to, you know, I went off to Orlando and whatnot for the week just to go the uh, Universal and Disney, which just felt like talking about it. But first of all, to tell you, to tell you. The traffic down in Florida to begin with is so bad that, like, compared to being in New England, where people actually use uh, turn signals and whatnot and actually know how to drive because they're, it's mandatory to get expect, inspection stickers and actual uh, in-person driving, like, and whatnot to pass for driving license and whatnot so it just sucked every single day that like most of the time why there was a slow traffic was because more than likely someone gotten into an accident or someone doesn't know how to drive in any uh hard rain which surprisingly for florida the week it wasn't that bad rain wise it was only like two days that it was like deep uh raining but beyond that, not bad. It was mostly cloudy a couple days in the beginning, but it mostly cleared up. It was only one day. It was the last day on fr on uh, the Friday that as soon as I got out of the ET attraction Universal, it just downpoured for a good 45 minutes. And then it was just light sprinkle and then cleared out. So that was a nice waiting, but at least we were just sitting on a bench outside of it. So. And then, of course, uh, two, I didn't get to eat for two days because you would think that being that restaurants would know to keep their restaurants open until either midnight or 1 a.m. because all most of the actual amusement parks are open until practically midnight or at least 11 around there. So, I wasn't able to actually eat dinner on Monday and Wednesday, and was resort to actually just eating chips. That sadly. But, at least we were able to eat every other day, like all the other days and whatnot. Just because, luckily, Denny's apparently was open until, like, past midnight and whatnot, or 24 hours, I don't know, but... Yeah, and also... If it wasn't, like, I'm happy that uh, apps are things nowadays because when I went to Florida years ago, it was like many years ago, back when I was in high school, like, I definitely would say four years ago, I'd say, three to four years ago, when Universal and Disney did not have the apps for wait times and whatnot. Thank God that they have those because if we didn't have them, we would just be like going to each attraction, seeing the time, deciding if we wanted to go. But this way, I was able to just look up on my phone on, I think it was the, because Monday I didn't do it, but it was Wednesday that I made sure I downloaded stuff ahead of time. Yeah, yeah even Disney, I... It would end down the Universal one until Wednesday, and then I on the first day because we only went to Universal uh, three times and Disney twice. So first day for Universal didn't do it. My dad did though, but it was fine because we were perfect. Like we just saw it just ahead because we weren't sure where to go up to begin with. So like I said, it was fine. But I uh, definitely just love that. But anyway, leaving day was of course Friday. Because we felt like going to the airport, and since we live in New England, we decided to head over to Rhode Island Airport because it's not that busy. And we had an 11 a.m. flight, which we were really running late when, uh, once we got to the actual gate, they were, like, the last five minutes ch of actually checking to get you aboard and everything, which 
It was really hectic, and I had to use the restroom, which I had to wait till I was on the plane to do, of course. Which we then arrived at Orlando Flores Airport at 2 p.m. Which, even if we arrived at 2, the traffic was absolutely horrible just to get out of the actual area of the airport. With the amount of people just trying to get, uh, get through the ch um, actual place and whatnot but that was just terrible so that was lasting many hours leading us to end up getting to the hotel which was in uh Kissimmee which the we then after that went to dinner at a pizza buffet which should not at all by health standards they should really need to get the place fixed because you could, like, the amount of, I assume, grease was on the floor, you could easily slip and slide by accident. Especially the bathrooms were not good. But then we went back to the hotel, and, uh, yeah, that was like 10 o'clock. It was like, yeah, it was either 9 or 10 we went back to the hotel, and I was just fell gaming on my laptop, which played uh, G GTA 3, because I decided to bring that on vacation. And then, of course, uh, I wanted to play... Need for Speed, uh, Most Wanted, I forget if it was 2 or 1, but it was the Black Edition for uh, PS2, but of course, since I knew, like, I already played it everything, tried it out on my PC, which of course, with a Ryzen 7 1700X uh, CPU and a GTX 10, uh, 17, uh, 1070 for the GPU, or Clock Edition, it was going to run perfectly fine, but on my tablet and my laptop, the emulator was not, it was too slow. It was not uh, frame-wise getting up to par as to what I would like. Because, like the, because apparently it was more uh, CPU and GPU dependent, which of course, both my tablet and my laptop were both dependent, on, like, or should say they were integrated. APUs and everything so because my laptop's just a triple core while my lap my tablet is a quad core But it's more or less a notebook type tablet, so It kind of sucked, but I was fine with playing GTA 3 for a little bit and everything and then of course uh, Saturday we did uh, wake up at 8 which of course don't need to tell you guys other than just to say that the breakfast uh, on the weekends which the breakfast was from 7.30 to 9, which when, yeah, when you're going from hotel all around 11, it, you're pretty tired and you don't feel like getting up around 7.30, or it was either 7 to 9 or 7.30 to 9, I don't know, but, uh, you, like, it was just like, I think it was, uh, two days, I believe, that we didn't, uh, really make the breakfast because we didn't get up until 8.00. So, but of course, at least the weekends, they were 7.30 to 10, so no matter what, we were able to have breakfast, so. But of course, hotel being somewhat cheap as it was, which was really stupid, that the buffet was lacking a microwave, uh, individual toasters, and individual pancakes slash waffle machines. You, like... You, I'm sure many of you have seen the many uh, hotels that have, a, like, you pour your pancake mix and everything. No, this one had literally a one button press for two pancakes, or just one, but you had to press it many times for as many as you wanted. And it was just, sh technically, the machine should have cooked them longer, because at least the toaster machine that you rolled the toast in, you could actually change the temperature and everything so that it didn't completely burn the toast. But of course, there was no microwave, sadly, and also, they pretty much didn't have no microwave there. They ex I'm guess they had oatmeal, which I guess they expect you to go all the way up to your hotel room just to heat that up, because I don't know who doesn't nuke their oatmeal unless you actually want it to just be hot water with it. But you know, I'd rather nuke it. So that's actually thoroughly cooked and everything. But, uh, I was really hoping that the hotel room would have had a stove top, at least. Like, just a flat one, not like the, uh, iron circles and everything. That way, if I wanted to, I could have possibly had 
like made hamburger and everything on it but didn't get a stove top instead just got a coffee maker and a microwave which pretty much sucked because we never used a coffee maker we never do and the microwave I've only, I only used one of the days after we went to Denny's uh, I just got pancakes and so I just cut up the two pancakes that we got and just had that for the breakfast the next morning because I'm because sh we already knew that we weren't really going to make the breakfast that well. <laughs> Cause, yeah, it was like the last half hour that following morning that we uh, hardly got there but uh, of course on the Saturday day one uh, we weren't sure what to do because my parents didn't ahead of time get the tickets for uh the parks so we couldn't go into said parks and well technically you could have but we didn't feel like uh we would rather just buy them online and everything because they were cheaper online but triple a didn't uh wasn't open on the weekends so we were stuck instead deciding to just go to ripley's believe it or not museum because we went last time and it, it was still nice and everything and but as i said traveling to different places other than and uh, other than the amusement parks traveling everywhere takes so long because people don't know how to drive at all so that really sucked and i'm pretty sure that day we there was like slight downpour at the moment we left for ripley's so it really did suck but we went to golden corral which there's about a million of them compared up here in New England where there's only one as far as I know in Massachusetts there's only one in Springfield so which is an hour away which really sucks but compared to down south where there's so many a billion of them so uh, and of course some of the parking lots don't exactly fit that many so we time when we went to Golden Grove the first time one of the places we couldn't even go to because we couldn't find a parking spot because the parking parking lots were full completely and then of course we headed back to the hotel to just relax the night and then day two the sunday which the morning of course was similar but we then uh, decided to head over to uh relatives to hang out for the day because they weren't doing really anything and I would just game with my cousins on uh, Rare Replay since they don't exactly stupidly have any kind of local co-op games, which was pretty sad. You think they would have, but they didn't. And then, of course, because we were there like 2 to 9, I believe. Or just, yeah, it was like 2 to 9. It was really late, but it was fun. And then, of course... Uh, on the way back, we only just had McDonald's for dinner, just cause, just had a shake, cause I was hungry, but there was really nothing open, so, whatever. And then, of course, back to the hotel and just, and pretty much fell asleep because we didn't get back until very late. It was like, uh, let's say 9 or 10 when we got, it was so, or no, it was actually 11, I think. Yeah, but uh, then uh, then then days three to eight were pretty much all the same for the most part, and that's why I wanted to uh, talk to you about some critiques that I wish people didn't do. I got eleven to share with you guys, which first of all, in the parks, people shouldn't be walking in a wall. F formation making people have to then go completely around you and get like it just completely screws up traffic when you got an entire line of people just going straight or whatever direction it's a, it's like really you can't just be little thing like that because that's my parents and I were just basically in a triangle for the most part we weren't really ever in a line most part sometimes we were but it was like very little traffic then but uh then of course the thing other thing is that stupidly people for some reason even though you got a giant crowd behind you why people decide to stop to do anything like we even taking selfies and whatnot it's like really 
Just go to the side so that you're not disrupting traffic, like I said. And then, of course, third thing, the both Disney and Universal need to understand that neither their attractions or the park itself need to have the speakers blasting as though as you. They may think you're deaf or something with how loud they like to have their speakers. Like, you can't hardly, like, my dad, I had it repeatedly always just tell them, like, what I was saying because he couldn't hear over the speakers and crowd speaking, so it sucked. And, uh, number four, Disney needs to learn how to implement single riders be that would drastically reduce the wait times for their actual lines because certain things like the uh, card speedway in the magic kingdom shouldn't be always 60 minutes you should can easily not just have an express lane but also have a single riders lane because 90 percent of the people unless you're a kid are always single riders anyway but yeah, uh, just single riders all the way, for the most part. Like, Universal at least has the idea, because for the most part, like, most air attractions, like, you can just breeze through the line like it's nothing, for the most part, when you're a single rider. And it does suck that most, some of the stuff you don't see, the fir like, that's why I'm happy we went three days, because at least some of the stuff we didn't see ahead of t we saw when we were in a group, but then... When we were single riders, we didn't get to see them because single riders don't get to see all of what the regular people get to see mostly, depending on what ride it is. And then, number five, Universal should make the uh, app more accurate in terms of details for each ride, such as uh, the Kong ride, which said it was single riders, but for some stupid reason, the single riders portion line was closed, which the app never said that. That and it sucked because we were such in a rut. We literally wanted to go to it for the single rider portion, which they, it was closed. And the app never said it was closed. If it said it was closed, we wouldn't have gone over to that specific ride. And speaking of said rides in the Jurassic Park area, they really need to have. I like a similar one to Kong, but it should be about the actual like Jurassic Park itself and not just a wa simple water ride and a pterodactyl like gliding ride like no should really have one that's centered around Jurassic Park, especially with the I assume at some point they're going to be making a uh, I forget what the heck the movie is called like Jurassic Park the last or not the last, it was some, it was like the second movie with, uh, the new set of characters I believe that they were doing, I don't know, but, they should really just have made a new, an actual ride based around, uh, yeah, Chris Patton and all that, I don't know, they should have done that, especially with the amount of, like, just extra, like, the jeeps and everything that they had there, you could easily... Uh, do that, but oh well. And of course, number six, that security for both parks should enforce families to only have the actual family members that will be paying for uh, the tickets at the entrances only have them in line. Don't have your entire family filling up the entire. Uh, line up making you have to wait longer because the first day in Disney we weren't we literally were waiting in line for I'd say over an hour just because a, a couple of people had strollers just taking up space in the line so that completely took longer as well as people not preparing which they should ahead of time already know what the heck they want because when my dad already knew what he wanted obviously he just straight up said it right immediately about what he wanted and then of course it's pretty dumb that the magic kingdom doesn't have any sort of actual fans compared to universal at the lines which is really dumb when you think about it 
But even the um, actual staff person at the ticket desk was like, yeah, we're still in the 20th century. It's like, yeah, I'm sure. Compared to Universal, where they actually have fans so that you're not just in dead heat and sweating, which really sucked. Then number eight, which still has to do more with actual people being in the way, is the Larka areas, where you should only have one person or two people, if that, just bring in the luggage or bring in the bags that you're planning on doing for lockers. That way, you're not making a huge ass mess. And I'm mostly talking about this because of Universal side that uh, the uh, Gringotts um, whole uh, roller coaster ride, the lockers, the first time we went were extremely packed. And you, it was like you're walking through a actual like concert, like just mob of people. Like it was so bad, just people everywhere and everything, which really sucked a lot. But what are you gonna do? This isn't just for just peep. This isn't just for the parks, but people in general. Even if you're just like, don't take pictures. Horizontally, if you're gonna do anything, do it vertically, because it makes everything look better. Like, no matter what, it just makes everything look so much better. Like, I can understand if you're using Instagram or Snapchat, but even then, it's like you can still do it horizontally or vertically. It just doesn't look good. <laughs> and also, number 10, uh, don't buy the Express Pass because. The staff for Universal and Disney are terrible about choosing uh, who can go and everything in the actual ride. Because if you're Express, then you're not allowing 30% of the regu like regular people, like only a por small last portion of them, are actually going to go on the ride like after you. Because it's 70% of the expressway, I would say. Just looking and pass by, it's like, really? What about us? And because it was only like very small groups from regular people that were able to actually get in the lines. Which is why the wait times for the most part were absolutely terrible. Because the expressway was taking so goddamn long. And then finally for number 11, get off your damn phones. Like... You expect because it's like unless you have someone with you like actually looking at you Just to be like hey, there's a whole giant ass gap in the line that you're waiting for Get off your phone and just walk forward like the amount, like the amount of people that sadly did that just took up space in the line because people are actually nice and not bothering that to oh uh, it was a couple of people bothering to say to move out of the way and everything kind of rude but at the same time it's true just to move out of the way and be nice but uh that is def that's the vacation because the last day we pr pretty much spent the day at the airport because we our air our airplane was at two or uh our flight was for 2.30 p.m. on Saturday, but we didn't get on until 5 to 5.30, or, yeah, 5 o'clock, but didn't take off until 5.30 because the plane was having computer issues, which, even if you're an idiot, you would think it should not take you nearly two hours to simply, if your computer's having an issue, especially something as urgent as an airplane, Either reset it if that doesn't fix it, and if you have available like actual replacement hardware for that thing, just replace it within the hour. That way, you're not wasting another two hours trying to figure out the problem. Because that's why we were when we were on the plane, we were still waiting like 20 minutes, I'd say, before we could even take off because they were still having the same problem that they had before. They were just allowing people to actually get on the plane. So, yeah, that was just great. Also, I wanted to make another rant of just that I thought of now that Disney Epcot, I saw all those 
veg uh all the garden and everything you have in your like all the vegetables and whatnot in your gardens it's pretty pathetic when your actual uh meals the healthy the healthy salad you have does not contain like 90 percent of the vegetables in your actual garden is not even in it the salad is pathetic you would think with all the vegetables everything in there all tomatoes freaking cucumbers and everything you would think it would be in a salad but it was not it was literally just a salad of lettuce i would imagine it was uh either olives or blueberries cheese and like i think it was i don't even remember what it was but it was like some sort of leaf or something, I don't know, but pretty pathetic. I was expecting, like, I remember seeing the garden, it's so huge, the, the garden that they have. You would think I would have had some nice cucumbers, tomatoes, celery or something. Instead, I just get basically a bowl full of lettuce and cheese, because I was not going to have the blueberry, blueberry type of things. I And then I had ranch with it. So, also, I had chicken on it. That made it healthy. There was the protein. Like, really? You couldn't have added at least tomatoes and cucumbers to it. At least make it appealing. Just pathetic, in my opinion. But, that overall, unless I can think of anything else... Uh, was my vacation. I thank you all for watching. Sorry that this was a 30 nearly 30 minute video, but uh, I haven't uploaded in a while, so why not talk about my vacation? So I have many other uh, just talking type of uh, video ideas. Please be sure to leave a like on the video if you do like this type of like video about just talking about subjects. And since I am on the green screen and everything, I can just but whatever type of image I would like. But I uh, thank you all for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more uh, videos like this or gaming videos. Comment down below what your experience was like in uh, Orlando, Florida, whether you were going to an amusement park or just going for relatives and whatnot. And yeah, how was your summer? And I would love to hear about it. In the comments down below and with that said follow me on twitter for channel updates as well as follow me on my twitch channel i know i haven't uploaded or i know i haven't uh broadcast since july 1st was because i was busy legit and also because i got slacked off and I'm playing gta 4 by myself uh which i'm I, unless i wanted just broadcast the DLCs I've been just playing uh, with the mod menu in GTA 4 just teleport around and get through faster but yeah I've been just doing that personal time but I will be getting back to recording definitely uh, I since it's, it's uh, August 3rd right now but I'll be trying to get as much recording and uploading as I can before I head back to school in a month so thank you all for watching with that said I will talk to you guys Next time. Bye now.